So firstly, I thought we were upstairs in the record shop, so this would make more sense there. Four of my favourite records. Bit of hip-hop. Bit of rock. Had to wait for that bit. Some uh, social media relevant electro step. I'm sure you've all got this on your phones, iPads, playlists, everything. Almost as many memes as he has number ones, and I'm sure you all love him. So, what do all these tracks have in common? Anyone? Good answer. Nothing. <laughs> and uh, that brings us to tip one. Consistency equals identity. So, uh, having consistency across everything, we're not just looking at the feed here. Quite a lot we concentrate on here. What's our tone of voice? But actually, you set the tone the minute anyone turns up anywhere here the pictures you're looking at, you know, having the links effect rather than just links, anything like that really does set the tone. So consistency, identity. Yeah, there we go, another example. Marmite, lovely, look, they love their fans, yay. <laughs> um, Kit Kat, really nice to the point there in their profile, which comes across nicely in the tweet if you're promoting that. Um, so cool, that was tip number one, by the way, everyone. I, I've been asked to be quick. Uh, <laughs> I was also asked to do this very last minute, um, so that meant that I'm pretty much going to steal all of this stuff. Uh, so tip number two, steal like an artist in moderation. Uh, I've stolen this uh, from the Austin Kleon book, Steal Like an Artist. I think you can probably see that, you know, good theft, bad theft, if you actually think about a lot of brands through social, they probably fit quite nicely on one of these sides and you can tell who's doing it right, who's doing it wrong. Um, and some really important ones to pull out there, studying versus skimming. Those brands that kind of, you know, they're not paying attention all the time, they want to jump on everything, uh, don't quite make the impact that those that really know it, that study it, are really involved and really in, in what they're talking about. Credit versus plagiarism. Lots of brands starting to go to the front page of Reddit and take their stuff from there, you know, and tweet that out as them. It's not quite their identity because they're taking that from somewhere else. So, you know, really important down the bottom here, I think, on from that, remixing rather than ripping off. So if you can actually take the steer from what's popular and then make it your own, much better than just ripping it off and trying to make people laugh with other people's content. For example, you know, uh, remixing the popular pro tip format here, so you can use a links bottle to hide your, va your valuables and no one will even know that they're sat there. Um, also, rather than tweeting the uh, trailers or anything like that from Grand Theft Auto, how about we take a message and make it our own? Um, so, sorry girls, bit busy on the release of Grand Theft Auto because we're going to be playing that from Lynx. Less is more. So that's tip number three, being succinct. Lifted this quote from the Saatchi book uh, and telegrams. You used to have to pay. You used to have to pay per word. So people were very careful about the number of words that they used. A bit like Twitter and the challenge of fitting everything within 140 characters. People used to see that as a challenge. How can we do it? But you know, brands have stood to the challenge and done some great stuff with it. Um, we found that jokes and comedy really work and quite easy to fit within that tweet. So take the joke, sprinkle it with a little bit of the brand and some great stuff there. Nowhere near the 140 characters. Um, here, we, you know, the image says quite a lot, so a nice little intro. Press to unlock, Apple Keynote, put out 10 minutes before potentially Apple were going to release the iPhone 5S, so we, we were quite proud of that one. Luckily, they did do a touch to unlock or else that could have been awkward. Um, the Grammys, you know, who, who was it that stood out there? Was it fashion, beauty, music, cars, any of the ones that have a real strong association? No, it was food. With just the one line, hey Pharrell, can we have our hat back? Hashtag Grammys. Didn't even include the picture because everyone was talking about it. Everyone was there. It was really in the moment and just that one line got them this. Look, that's great. Um, so that's another tip there. So this tip should have probably been number one. Know your audience. Uh, we work across a few SM FMCG brands, SMCG, FMCG brands that have different audiences. So 18 to 24 year old males, uh, 25 to 35 year old females on Flora. Magnum is the 18 to 24 year old female. They all have very different interests. Girls, gaming, technology, food, health. You can read those, I'm sure. Um, <laughs> and we need for each of those a unique tone of voice to kind of ladder up to, to know we're talking about the right thing each time. 
Um, so for Lynx, we kind of work to be in the cooler older brother. We don't want to be the seedy uncle, especially if we're talking about girls, how to get the girl. Uh, Flora's the helpful mum, who will always help you out with any tips that you need. Um, and then Magnum's the savvy pleasure seeker, so you know, really staying up to date on fashion trends and anything like that, and able to talk um, to their audience in the way that they talk. And sometimes it's kind of that thing of we want to claim the moment, but if you're sat there ha asking how do we talk about it for too long, maybe you just shouldn't. And sometimes things can be a bit shoehorned. Some of the best examples of a brand are actually not jumping on a trend. For example, I can't show you the Royal Baby tweet that Lynx put out because we decided that was totally wrong. Despite the fact everyone was talking about it, it wasn't right for us. So there was no point in us putting that out there. Don't get stale. Tip five, keep evolving. So it's not what you say, it's how you say it, which is true, but it's still what you say. So you can say things so many times, you can find a format, you can really stand out and you can be the case study example, but you know, as Daft Punk said here, when the rest of the world catches up with you, where do you go next? You can't stay around relying on the singular format. The thing that was popular last month probably won't be popular this month. Um, there's lots of things to use, comedy, competitions, hints, tips, occasions, vines, all of those things. And if you're doing one of those well, there's no reason that you can't overlap other things to make sure that you're keeping it fresh and different. For example, Marmite, quite nice here, accessorising with characters uh, like Toast and Jam, who's cheating on Marmite. Aww. But it's okay because he's over it and for Valentine's Day he wants to do something with bread. I'm not sure what they would do. Um, so actions that speak louder than words, do something. Not, it's not always about the words that you're putting out there. For example, Pepsi, they're great at all of these things that they make and give something to talk about rather than actually the words that they use. Um, the same with Lowe's Fixing Six. People probably don't recognize these for the amazing words that were sat next to that vine. But uh, so being noticed isn't enough, add value. You know, when we were all stuck in uh, the tube strikes last month, it was nice to get a smile on the face from Innocent. Uh, remember your roots, or your root roots. Uh, don't reinvent the wheel. PG Tips here, you know, they had a brand tone of voice already sat there. They didn't need to reinvent it and do anything. They needed to bring the monkey into social, to get him tweeting from behind the uh, calendar. Uh, it's not all about compliments, or it's not all about you. There is a video here. I'm guessing I should skip this. <laughs> uh, basically, he'll sing about not being complimented. Um, Holiday Inn, you know, they're just retweeting compliments about how great their hotels are. It's not an interesting feed to follow unless you're going to stay in Holiday Inn. It's no good to you after you've stayed in a Holiday Inn. Um, so conversations over compliments. And then, you know, people still talk about that these days, the best Twitter conversations out there, the interbrand banter that they've got. So we, we actually like this stuff, and it's not pushed out there by the brands all the time. Uh, you're talking to humans. It wouldn't be right to do this, and it's tip 10. Everyone's different. So, you know, this guy is different to this guy, who is definitely different to this guy. And very good for here from Tesco. It's not always spoken about, but, you know, using something as a PR angle, they then, you know, were talking to this person very differently and defending themselves compared to someone who was worried about the sell-by date on the stake. Uh, ASOS, dedicated customer service channel, you know, take the negativity off, wear a different hat. <laughs> and then what we did on links here with dogging tails, so the conversation was a little bit negative around us, but we didn't ignore that. We kind of jumped in there, had a joke with the people and, and mimicked the tone that was going on out there with everyone else. So that's my very quick top 10 tips there. So Luke will be happy to finish, and that is tweetable. 